In 1913, a new dance from Argentina conquered the whole world. Nothing so passionate and scandalous as the tango had ever been danced before. Our stiff clothing and corsets stopped us from partying, so we took them off. We rediscovered our bodies and carnal desire. We got married for love and chose our own husbands and wives. That was hardly the case for our grandparents and parents. We sought fulfillment not just in heaven, but on earth too. Till death do us part was how we promised ourselves. We thought that was romantic. Until the summer of 1914. However, my dear friend, the Grand Duchess Irina requires it at this time. Everything is promised. Nothing is done. The only hope of getting a move on is by bribery. And one may bribe the wrong people till one finds one's way about. I was on my way through the no-man's land. I had to stop. Where was the English line and where was the German? I'd gotten lost and had no idea what to do. Suddenly, I heard whispers and I steadied myself for combat. Are they English? Are they German? If they're English, I could get the Iron Cross for a daring assault. If they're Germans, I could be shot down by my own men if I dare to approach. 21-year-old Ernst Junger has gone from being an ordinary volunteer soldier to an experienced and highly decorated lieutenant. He prefers to fight man to man, and so the German army's new tactics suit him well. Small units of shock troops are used to ambush and occupy enemy trenches to form pockets of resistance. Wear trousers on your job, sweetheart. I think it's so disgusting. And you know what the other lads will have of it. Don't ever let me see you in them, otherwise I shall pull them off you. The photo you sent me would have made me even happier if you had not allowed your picture to be taken with your shoulders so bare. It is not customary in my family for women to follow the liberal whims of fashion. Jealousy crowds my heart. Jealousy not born of mistrust, but of envy that others get to enjoy your company. While I, for whom this means joy and happiness, must now be so far away. Well, the procedure is relatively simple. If conscious, give an emetic. If blue in the face, apply artificial respiration. If very blue, oxygen. But perhaps that's uh, obvious to you. I'm afraid the Red Cross simply had me running up in a large kitchen. Really? In our kitchen, we have two nieces of the Duchess of Wellington. And sadly, they couldn't tell the difference between a turnip and a boiled egg. There's some room here by me, if you like. Like other countries in this war, Great Britain depends on its women being prepared to make sacrifices to keep the arms industry going. The working conditions are almost unbearable. Poisonous substances used in this industry cause severe health problems and can even be deadly for the workers. And yet, month after month, some of the biggest factories in history enter production. The of ground had been plowed and plowed again. The trees uprooted, destroyed, and ground to mulch. The houses blown away, rocks ground to powder, mountains blown apart. In short, everything was now desert. That's my Vogel. This happened something. There was no medical help available. Nobody cared for us. Because of this, disease was rampant. Half the men died of typhoid fever. And none of those poor souls received a proper burial. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Lorsqu'il est parti, father leaves, and it's suddenly very quiet in the house. So completely silent. I feel like giving everything up. My diary, everything. And just lying down to sleep, not to wake up again. Until this war is over.